we've worked together before yeah. on a production of the last five years. So to um, share this experience with a very, oh. very wonderful friend, just as the icing yeah. on the cake. And uh, this is a true story, but I was, I'd found out and I was um, just waiting to talk to um, one of the producers, Adam, um, who I've known for a very long time. And, uh, I was waiting for him to call me back because I wanted to just scream down the phone at him, you know. <laughs> and um, and as I was waiting for him to call me back, I turned to my husband and I said, "Do you know who would be an amazing MC? Fra." It just hit me. I went, "Fra would be brilliant, wouldn't he?" And this is a joke. <laughs> and then Adam immediately calls me. We have a minute, and then he says, "Do you want to know who your MC is? It's Fra." <laughs> You're a prophet. <laughs> or just like a natural casting director. I don't know. I hadn't seen the show when I got cast. I mean, it was hard to get a ticket, right? <laughs> um, but I did then go see it um, just before we started rehearsals. And I, just, I was completely and utterly overwhelmed by how incredible it is. From the moment that you step into the theater, it's like you're going into Bergheim Club in Berlin. And the whole immersive experience, the prologue that is played by these amazing actor, musicians and dancers. I was already having one of the best nights of my life yeah, before the show had yeah. started. I think I auditioned on the Tuesday and I saw it on the Saturday just before. I was completely and utterly speechless when I came out. I just needed a minute. I, I just needed a minute to process and not talk to anyone. It really was one of the best things I've ever seen. Slightly intimidating. <laughs> uh, whew, that's classy production right there. Um, but it was absolutely wonderful. What a, what an amazing experience after what we've all gone through the last two years mm. to kind of sit in live theatre and see that. Um, and it, yeah, as you say, it doesn't feel like theatre. You just feel like you're in another world. Mm. It's been the most creatively satisfying mm. process I've had in a very long time. It's just been amazing kind of just mm. in our element in the last few weeks just Absolutely. having loads of time well yeah loads of time to play and figure out and, and explore uh, which quite often you just don't get mm. so it's been a real treat and uh, Frex is incredible yeah. she's been and the whole team Jordan as well she's been amazing to work with these roles are so iconic in the realms of the musical theatre and what I think is amazing about how Rebecca, along with Julia, the choreographer, and the whole team, has sort of created this world in which those roles can be interpreted very individualistically, mm. um, which is just such a, a relief, first of all, because it, we would hate to think that we're being forced to step into something that's very, very um, rigid, mm. but actually we have been given so many liberties and it feels as though we're actually just exploring this for the very first time. Yeah. Um, so that's that's a real thrill. And the rest of the cast that are, are remaining in the show have just allowed us to play with them and for them to sort of play with what we're doing. So that's, that's a real joy. Yeah. In the rehearsal room, the, the stage is mapped out. Um, you know, we're aware of what we're going into, but nothing really prepares you, especially when you get the yeah. levels of the stage. The, the, the levels change and things move, and nothing really prepares you for that. So I think all of us went through a, our own wee process last week of yeah. being a wee bit thrown, absolutely, <laughs> and feeling like you're going back a few steps. Just, but you know, I think that whatever tech you do, I think that is just yeah. a natural reaction to tech. <laughs> I think we both agree what our, one of our favourite moments in the show is. One bit together. And it sort of is whenever the, the worlds collide. And it's a song that I had heard in the previous productions of the show, but hadn't really heard, do you know what I mean? Like I hadn't really appreciated how beautifully stunning it is. It's a song. Especially when he sings it. Well, I don't know. But <laughs> it's a song, <laughs> it's a song called I Don't Care Much. Um, mm which, I mean, Kander and Ev, like, they really are just the best composer lyricists. With them, you know, one of the best pairings we've ever, ever had. And this song is just the most exquisite little one act play in a song. It's, it's extraordinary. And the moment that it comes in this telling of Cabaret. Oh, it's perfect. It's, it's, it's quite a, an amazing piece of um, theatricality and storytelling. I think. <laughs> yeah, we hope. <laughs> yeah.